Hey, Tactical Painter, back out in Suits Crafting Woodshop. Welcome out to the shop. So, today we got the brand new tail stock put on the lathe, so let me show you how that turned out. Super happy. Thank you so much, Rycon, for uh, guaranteeing that warranty and then sending that out to me. It is so much better. The tolerance on it is a lot closer than what it was before. I was, you know, almost a millimeter off before. Now it's like 0.1 millimeters off, so it's going to be so much better going forward. So, Super happy with this. Let me show you how to get this changed out and uh, we'll, we'll get this going. So don't mind the mess that is my working bench top. I do have projects that are ongoing right now. So, But to change this out, first you have to take off this black plastic cover. You just take these two bolts out. And then your plastic cover comes off. And then remove the old tailstock. Get that out of our way. And then we'll bring in the new tail stock, mount that in place, slide that on, and replace our cover. Drop our screw on the floor. Always hand thread that in so you make sure that you're not cross threading anything before using a power tool on big bolts like this. All right, now on to step two. Now for step two, there are these four bolts that go around your headstock, and you've got one here, 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 and then here. And those four bolts allow you to uh, move your headstock within the ways. So for mine, I had to adjust just the littlest bit of side to side uh, in order to get my new tailstock to line up from where I had to move my old tailstock, because when I got my old tailstock, um, it was off side to side and up and down. I was able to adjust it up and down, but one thing you got to watch out for when moving it side to side, you need to make sure that it stays parallel within the ways. The first time I moved it, I kind of canted it a little bit, and when I canted it, it actually made it so that when I had items turning, they were um, getting turned oblong. So when I drilled through items, they were making uh, an oval shape instead of a round shape and then when I went through and uh, fixed that it it stopped that entirely so it just make sure that you're staying parallel don't cant this either way if you're gonna move it move it all the way to the side all the way to the side in either direction um, and make sure that you stay parallel within your ways and now you can see that it is perfect could not be happier with that All right, now if you will remember my very first tailstock with the new Rikon lathe, the tailstock actually falls underneath the headstock uh, when I when I put these together. So the headstock is just a little bit taller than the tailstock. Tailstock was ground down just a little too far, and it falls underneath. So now let me show you what we've got. So here's the new tail stock. We'll bring that up and you can see it is perfect. It doesn't fall underneath. And you can see again, perfect. Maybe a little low, but it is so much better than before. So that's going to get rid of all of our issues that we were having with our drilling and having to flip it over when we were doing all of our turning and everything it's just going to be so much better so thank you Rikon so much for sending me out the new tailstock I greatly appreciate it it's a much better improvement over the old tailstock that just was not doing good for this uh, fine crafting pen turner so um, you know they, when I had them on the phone you know they were like well you know that little bit of a difference between the headstock and the tailstock really shouldn't matter much and when I explained to them that the crafting that I do with pen turning you know it's very small fractions of millimeters that you know we deal with in pen turning and so you have to have precise tools so they sent me that uh, brand new tailstock got it in the mail today got it set up and it is perfect thank you so much Rikon I greatly appreciate it you guys are great over there in the service department and uh, I love your guys' tools, 
and I plan on picking up more of them in the future. So this is Tactical Painter, just keeping this video short, wanted to give you guys an update about the uh, the Rikon tailstock, I know that I've been talking about getting that in, and uh, I've been in talks with them for a little while, and uh, they were waiting for some info, and I had missed an email, so um, once I got them that info, they sent it out immediately, like that day, they sent it out, and uh, so it's in my hands now, and it's on the lathe, and I can't wait to get this going, and get some stuff turned up and test out to see how well the new one works, but... It's 11.05, and I'm going to get my little girl to bed. So thank you so much for joining me out in the shop today. This is Tactical Painter signing out. Good night, and I will see you guys next time.